were returned to. So I'm thankful today that we get to be here. I'm thankful that, you know, Carol mentioned last night on our way home that she said, you know, even coming out on Saturday night, just us and doing our church work and stuff, she said, it still makes you feel good to know that you're trying to serve God. And that's what we do. And I am also thankful for that. It is our sanctuary. Our shelter from trouble and storm. And not that it takes the trouble away, but it comforts us through our troubles. Talked about Larry. Time doesn't wait on anyone. One generation comes and goes. But it's the things that's done for God that will stand forever. And I do worry a lot about religion today. I worry a lot about the fakeness of it, that it's a gathering, it's fun. I worry about the sincerity of it. You talked about the altar and, and those things, Larry. And, and when you said that, it made me think that, you know, the prophets of Baal, they put on a pretty big show in front of the altar, didn't they? They leaped right on top of the altar trying to get somebody's attention. <laughs> And it didn't get anybody's attention. And then Elijah by himself, standing against armies there. Thousands and thousands of people there gathered there that really was his end. And by himself just bowed down and prayed. God answered him. God answered him. And I'm thankful today that. That is the kind of God we serve. It's not about the show and it's not about all the things that this world likes to see. And I believe that with all my heart that there is, there is a call that's gone out to this world. And I believe that this world is hungry for that truth. Even though they may not, and uh, they may not understand that, Larry. But I believe with all my heart that the Spirit of God it draws men and women. And uh, a shame on our religions today that they uh, uh, they help provide excuses. Uh, they help provide uh, listen a cloak for that sin, Larry. Yeah, sure. uh, they do. Uh, I thought about that last night, Shad, uh, when you was up here, uh, and you mentioned how uh, the minute you tried to, uh, to talk to your dad about uh, doing what was right, the minute you brought it up, uh, uh, he turned it around and accused you of being uh, full of hate yeah. uh, today. Uh, uh, don't you understand? That's the way this world. Yeah, your books. Well, son, that's the way that this world views the righteousness of God, because it condemns them. And I'm telling you all right now, the harder you stand for the things of God, the more of an outcast you'll become today. Oh, son, you just pray. I'm just for a minute of time. You know, one. I'm awful bad. I'm awful bad, uh, the son, uh, to get down. Uh, why? Uh, and to not be able to feel the way that I want to. Uh, I'm my the son, and I worry about those things. Uh, but you know what? Uh, I woke up uh, before 7 o'clock this morning, and I thought I feel like going to church today. Yeah. Uh, son, uh, and I was thankful for that, Larry. Uh, that, uh, why? There's no 
nothing uh, that I'd rather do uh, than to have that uh, uh, spirit down on the inside uh, talking to me uh, and I get lonely uh, when I don't feel that uh, while the sun uh, and we need to be strong uh, and we need this world to see where we stand uh, while I'm on top of them. Uh, listen, uh, then if we'll stand for God, uh, there's a light, the sun, uh, like a beacon that shines. Uh, this world is a dark place today, uh, and my Lord's the light. Uh, he's a light that shines in a dark place. Uh, uh, oh, Lord, uh, even when David uh, was fleeing from Saul, uh, listen, was an outcast. Yeah, yeah. Uh, why? Because Saul was full of jealousy. Yeah, when he, uh, uh, oh, and David uh, was driven out in the wilderness. And the Bible says that uh, the people began to come to him. All uh, the outcasts, uh, uh, the son began to come to him. Yep. And he built a great army, didn't he? Yep. Uh, uh, from those that uh, uh, couldn't fit in nowhere. Yep. Yep. Uh, uh, Lord, oh Lord, uh, why I'm telling Lord, you. Uh, the children of God, uh, they need to lean a little more into discomfort here. Uh, yeah. uh, the children of God, uh, they need to... Uh, be uh, just a little more willing to be uh, uncomfortable uh, with fitting in with those around there. Uh, oh, God, uh, you know what? Uh, listen, uh, it seemed, it struck me as a little funny that uh, uh, why out here where I'm working at, uh, Larry, there's a whole lot of people uh, from the north. Uh, there's a lot of people. I'm not from the south uh, and listen uh, and their language betrays them yeah. uh, and the things they talked about it betrays yeah. them uh, uh, oh god and i thought oh uh, wow when i was thinking on those things then uh, maybe uh, uh, I might be able to do some good uh, They love talking about uh, their parties and their drinking uh, And things like that uh, uh, Oh God And, and I thought uh, that uh, Yes, I can just picture them uh, listen, uh, when they're all gathered together, uh, uh, standing around with their drinks in their hand, uh, and oh, and I sent up a little prayer, Lord, uh, uh, Lord, how uh, can I live my life? And uh, so when somebody pictures me, uh, they picture me with a Bible yeah, in my hand. Uh, yeah. Oh, Lord, uh, uh, you better, uh, you better be reviewing your life today. Why uh, uh, well, you better make sure uh, um, that this world it sees you as a peculiar people, as a holy nation today. Uh, oh Lord, uh, why I'm telling you then? Uh, why does it say a light that's set on a hill? Uh, uh, listen, uh, uh, you go downtown. York City at night, um, there's lights everywhere, uh, you can't discern yeah. one from the other, uh, uh, listen, because of all the colors and all the brightness, uh, but my Lord, uh, listen, uh, uh, he's a light on a hill, yeah. uh, shining in a yeah. dark place, oh, yeah. uh, oh God, and his light, it's easy to tell from Oh, uh, I uh, the lights of this world here. Uh, 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 he don't fit in, Larry, nope, nope, uh, don't and I hope I don't either. Uh, oh, God. Uh, oh, I and it's like this. Uh, uh, one of the old kings, Asa. Oh, uh, I uh, was just a young man uh, when he became king, and it was a troubled time. Uh, but the Bible says then he walked in the ways of God uh, as soon as he became king. Uh, oh, God. 
and and when uh, when the enemy came listen out of Ethiopia there and the Bible says that uh, Asa he had an army there he had about uh, 580,000 men in his army uh, but when, Ethi uh, when those Ethiopians came yeah. um, they said uh, they had a million men in their army uh, oh Numbered his army, and before they went out, uh, he went. Uh, uh, he went uh, down in prayer, and he said, "Lord, Lord, uh, we rest in Thee, Lord." Yeah. Now listen. Uh, people and you know one and and God bless them uh, to win that battle uh, why and after they won the battle uh, God sort of prophet to him uh, to tell him uh, because uh, you leaned on me uh, uh, the son uh, oh God and he said uh, why uh, because you leaned on the Lord and sought him he was found of you uh, uh, people that's never changed today uh, do you need the Lord in your life uh, look at uh, look at our prayer list here uh, uh, yes this world needs the Lord uh, oh God and you know what uh, we got a lot of sick on here uh, but uh, we could uh, what if we made a prayer list uh, just people um, that were sick with sin yeah. and needed the Lord uh, uh, how long would it be then uh, oh God and uh, the Bible says that uh, when that a uh, prophet uh, when he said those words uh, they said there uh, then uh, uh, he really put his heart into uh, serving God it strengthened him and it says that and this was the part that stuck out to me and it said that uh, people started coming from all over even strangers uh, started coming uh, because uh, they heard and they saw that the Lord uh, was with they saw yeah. and they wanted some of that didn't they uh, oh God uh, uh, this world's hungry it's hungry uh, for the Spirit of God today yeah. uh, people and we need to be like to them, uh, just like uh, when, uh, when that king prayed and he said, Lord, uh, we rest on thee. Uh, uh, why? Uh, a thousand years later, uh, what did Jesus come saying? Uh, listen. I take my yoke upon Amen. you uh, uh, why? and learn of me for I am meek and uh, I am lonely and hard uh, oh, and you shall find a rest for your soul uh, uh, people I need that rest in place I don't know how uh, the rest of the world gets along uh, but I need it awful bad I'm glad to Today and then, uh, well, soon I don't gotta be in a crowd. I'm glad that um, there was a, uh, there's a resting place uh, for the children of God. Yeah. And no wonder Paul said, and we which do believe, uh, we have entered into rest. I'm glad that uh, soon I don't gotta wait. I don't gotta wait for anything else. I found my resting place. Amen. And I need it. Hmm. I'm glad that God has found it, found the mercy to show to me. To let me be a part. This world's an awful bad place. And there's a lot of bad things that goes on. And I'm glad that God that God can save us from these things by providing us the resting place. And I hope that this world can see the difference between playing church, playing God, and serving the true God.
I worry about that. So I'm going to get out of the way, Jeremy, and let you come. No, come on. Just speak a few words and we'll get a song. But let's serve God while we have the chance. I don't know how everybody else is, but every time that I can feel a blessing, I feel like it strengthens me a little bit. And we need to come together for that strength and for no other reason. I believe it's very edifying to the children of God to come together and serve together. Come on.